All right, what's going on, everybody? Today, we're having a little bit of a discussion. I thought I'd give some feedback on uh, the PvP scene. It's been a minute since I've, you know, hard, like harshly criticized a part of BDO, and I think it's time I, I really start criticizing this because I feel like PvP is in a absolutely just dog state that really just needs to be taken a look at. I think the best starting point is Node War slash uh, Sieges. I I gotta be honest, they're they're pretty much dead on console. I don't know about PC or anywhere else realistically. I mean, I, I say anywhere else, there's only like two places, you know, console, PC. But point being is uh, Node War Sieges, they pretty much have been dead for a while. You have a lot of no-shows, you have a lot of territory passing. Honestly, that is hearsay. I, I don't know whether or not that's still going around. But point being, there's definitely a lot of no-shows to Node Wars. And there's just not enough incentive to uh, continue Node Wars slash Sieges. There's not... It's just the reward isn't worth it and it doesn't make players or even guilds care about this uh, you know feature in the game and bdo is a heavily advertised pvp game and since its release it has slowly declined and sort of distanced itself from that pvp aspect and now it seems to be just a, a life skill game and that's you know if i wanted to play farming simulator i'd just go on facebook but you know it, it is what it is Look, I don't want to be a dick about it, but I genuinely think that the PvP scene is suffering immensely. Outside of Node Wars and Sieges, that idea that there's not enough incentive to PvP, that is a constant, in a, and I'm going to repeat again, it is a constant problem in all aspects of PvP. When it comes to GVGs, there's no reward. In fact, if you want a GVG, you actually have to pay a million just to send a deck, so you're actually losing something to send a declaration of war, so at this point, gvgs are pointless outside of just personal vendettas and maybe scheduled pvp events that uh gms can you know uh sort of uh well, what's what's the word here they can sort of organize you know a, a gvg for practice maybe they'll send in an a team and a b team or two b teams to practice against each other you know it's supposed to be this cordial thing and it doesn't always have to be but for the most part it's pretty much just death vendettas left and right you know ah this guy added me in chat and said this and he said that about me and he said this about my girlfriend that's it i'm decking you guys and farming you and your girlfriend that's that's gvgs in a nutshell outside of that it really is nothing else like right now i run an incredibly small guild called dread guard and we're small for a reason and that's because we just don't see the benefit in decking however that is sort of being looked at for by me and a couple other the leaders in the guild because we're we're bored we're, we're bored we want a pvp and this will segue into my next point and that that is arsha arsha is a meme bro like it's a meme i used to be afraid of arsha like when i was first starting to play the game and players would tell me yeah arsha yeah that's that crazy server that every geared person goes to and at one point i'm sure that was the case and now that i'm geared and because i wanted to have fun in arsha being a geared player I, there's nobody there. It, there's legit nobody at Arsha. That is absolutely wild to me that there is zero people on Arsha. And when I do find someone, it's like barely five minutes of fighting and then boom, they're gone. Like they are gone. And in real talk, like I'm gonna be straight with you guys and tell you guys a thing. I was fighting a sage at Blood Wolves because we were both farming for the pot piece. It was the best thing ever because he was the chillest dude. I don't, I don't know him. I don't know who he is or anything like that, but he farmed the shit out of me. He beat my ass into the dirt. I wasn't salty. I wasn't mad about it. I, he said good fights and I said, thanks for coming by, bro. I've been waiting for a fight all day. That's legit what I said to the guy. That That's how desperate I was for a fight. It was just anybody, like a dude that came through and whooped my ass. I thanked him for whooping my ass because I was just waiting for any kind of action at this point. And that's another issue, right, is that if you do want to get into the PvP scene, this re this revolves around practice and trial and error and understanding your class and other classes. If no one is PvPing, especially on Arsha that's supposed to be open world PvP, how are you supposed to learn other classes? Like, sure, you could go into the BA, but that doesn't help in open world. And let me give you a, a really good example. Zerkers in the battle arena, very different fight style from open world. Reason being, collision. See, in the battle arena, I can just forehead you with my lava piercer. In open world, in mobs, I cannot do that because mobs get in the way. Same thing with Iron Buster. I can't shoot you when mobs are in the way and you're using them as a shield. Like, it's a very different scale of fight 
whenever you're in open world versus BA. In BA, I stand a chance 100% and I can do whatever I want. In open world, there's just, there's so many factors that I have to consider and I have to use Predatory Hunt wisely. I have to use Lava Piercer wisely. And not to mention, there's a bunch of bugs with the class two, which we'll talk about later on. But the point being is that open world is very different and having that practice on Arsha working around the mobs and understanding enemy classes and how they work in mobs is very important and since there's nobody doing that on arsha this is terrible so pretty much node war siege is dead not enough incentive or at least the incentive isn't good enough arsha's dead not enough incentive the 50 percent buff is nice i went to Auckland with it pulled a, a tongue grad earring and like 10k trash whatever that was cool uh i mean but there was nobody in Auckland. i killed two people and that was it <laughs> that that was uh, they did they, they tiered once and uh buddy killed uh, killed him i killed the other they just left after like two deaths and it's fine they didn't want they it's Ackman. they're not going to keep tiering because well you know they, they have to find a portal again so they're just going to leave and call it a day but outside of that on arsha i go to blood wolves i go to mansions i go everywhere i've been everywhere on arsha at different times too during the day during the night mornings uh it doesn't matter like arsha is practically dead on a regular basis and the hot hours is for sure probably around midday and you'll find a, a lot more fights but the percentage isn't that much higher than you know just going there at night like yeah it's more active but I don't think it's enough to where I could say this is good it's because it's not it should be a lot more uh next thing we should talk about while I look at my list here we should talk about class balancing I think this is also ties into pvp uh, we need to talk about tamers. Tamers are in the absolute shadow realm of the tier list. They are god awful. Real talk, I know one tamer and he just started playing the game yesterday and you can probably guess that that's not gonna last. Zerkers used to be in about the same shadow realm as the tamers but since Seismic Blast and a lot of, you know, little, little changes here and there, nothing that makes him insane but some positive changes took him out of the shadow realm to where he's at least probably C or B tier at best and some people probably disagree with that but i don't think he's that bad open world yes just 1v1 in ba or maybe node wars definitely like cb tier but tamers they are in such a poor state and i would like to see a lot more uh attention brought to that i mean i know there's other you know balancing things like Wiz wizard needs to be fixed <laughs> because man that dude is retarded uh same thing for sage uh very 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 busted right now just one taps anybody at like zero ap it's pretty ridiculous but um tamers is cool it's cool it's a cool class i'd like to play it i'd like to see it i'd, I'd like to fight it it's a really really dope class and the fact that it's so weak to the point that players are actually steering clear of it like i know a few players that have tried to play tamer at high gear score i i knew a 600 gear score tamer and they rolled off it because they couldn't make it work at 600 gear score and the worst part is i fought them too and i you know at the time i was only like 261 or something and i just dunked all over her i mean granted they were just testing it out and trying it but it, for a tag anyway and it just the fact that i was able to do like so much and they were able to do so little and i keep them high i play a zerk I, I don't do much in general it's just a lot of crazy movement and iron buster that's all we got really and the tamer just it, nothing she has got nothing her whole thing is you bait into the doggo's crazy like bubble thing that stuns you and that's that's sort of it and if you see it coming you just bait it out and then go in afterwards because she has nothing else very very unprotected mobility is not as good as on pc from what i saw so yeah she's really suffering uh, another class that i think is weak uh dk more like dk this class has been uh falling down slowly uh, declining in player base i think she's still decent but nowhere near as good as i think she should be since succession came out dk has definitely seen some love and has been a lot i'd say a lot more better but i i don't think she's where she should be i think she should be up there a little bit more i think she should have more damage i think she should have uh well, what you call it um uh, uh, uh fuck i can't think of the uh, fuck it i just think she should be better i mean the dk does do damage like let's be realistic she she does do damage but i just feel like her pvp especially for node war siege is dog like it's straight dog water like she's really not great uh last thing i want to talk about zerkers uh this one is just personal to me because i experienced these issues but 
first problem I'm gonna say is the predatory hunt glitch where you get collision with it. Uh, that's no, that's not how that works. It's not supposed to. That is the only movement ability I can use in mobs, which is great for open world. It's still not gonna win me fights per se, but it's the only thing I can use that helps me move within mobs and for whatever godforsaken reason, I get collision and it completely destroys the Zerker's movement as in open world. So this is a really, really big problem for when I'm fighting in, in Arsha or anything like that. It's It really sucks to just get absolutely destroyed by a bug. The next thing I want to mention is the ground lifting SA bug with the Rebomb skill. Uh, it's supposed to have super armor and it does technically, but I it doesn't work. I don't know what to say. It just doesn't work. I had to switch off it because it was so unreliable. I kept getting knocked. I kept getting grabbed or not grabbed. Uh, I kept getting just damaged through it. Like this SA just never worked or popped off. It was really bad. I switched to Titan Blow and it has worked a lot better. So until the ground lifting one seems to get fixed, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't seem to be worth using. I mean, it's not a bad skill per se, but it's just not worth using because it, the SA doesn't work. So why would I use something that doesn't work? Uh, I think that about covers everything. There's not much else I can really say anymore. I think I got most of the stuff off my chest, but yeah honestly big thing buff tamers make pvp great again and that's where we are uh but yeah dk's two zerkers i don't think need a buff anymore other than give me iron buster spam outside of that um zerkers are fine we do a lot of damage we do all right uh maybe open world could use a little bit of a, a tune-up just to make us viable in open world but outside of that zerkers are all right but tamers and dk's i think they could be better off and wizards please for the love of god just <laughs> anything just anything please anything oh and i guess sage too yeah please look at that that's really ridiculous that i'm getting one tapped by people with 100 ap that's that's really just not great but that's it for the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'll talk to you guys later Bye bye